G'day viewers, Wixie with you for another episode of One Town at a Time. Today we're tucked away in southwestern Victoria in a small town called Cape Bridgewater where you can find the petrified forest. Today's episode is brought to you by the Cape Collection from livingartlifestyle.com. Travel inspired artisanal lifestyle homewares, designer fashion and jewellery. Cape Bridgewater is a location like no other. A must visit locale to add to your trip planner. So many culturally significant and historic sites can be found along this vast stretch of Australia's coastline, setting the Cape atop the list. More than likely, you've never heard of the place or could even place it on a map, but that's about to change. This is a true destination. Cape Bridgewater is one of those special places that really can't be found anywhere else. One of those places that you wonder why anyone lives there. A secret spot by virtue of its isolation. It is amazing, the cliff sides along here with the ocean, I just, I, yeah, I feel like I'm at the edge of the world. I, it's like a totally different landscape. It's like a different world. It is something else to see. I just have so much reverence for the ocean and it's places like this that just make me realize how much I love her and I honor her and makes me want to cry, I'm that grateful. Exposed to the storms and southwesterly swells, Discovery Bay Marine National Park makes an important contribution to Victoria's network of marine parks and sanctuaries. More than 2,770 hectares in size, the Discovery Bay Marine National Park safeguards a unique and diverse range of marine plants, animals and habitats for future generations. To the west, huge sand dunes stretch to the horizon. The largest basalt reefs in Western Victoria are found here, blanketed by expansive kelp forests and seagrass beds, which support a diverse range of fish, crustaceans and invertebrates such as rock lobsters and abalone. Sea mosses, sea fans and sponges cling to the reefs in deeper waters, forming an expansive sponge garden. The coastline along Victoria is certainly more rugged than the east coast, reflective of the incessant arctic gale howling on shore from Bass Strait. A warm, bright, yet dull vibrance to the pastel colour palette of the ancient desert landscape on the edge of the ocean. A surreal scene, presenting like a forest of tree trunks fossilised in rock. An alien landscape, as if you were on Tatooine within the Star Wars universe. Delicate cone spires rise from the rock, fragile formations that have miraculously withstood and been shaped by the sands of time. Eerie, coral, cocoon-like constructions like breeding pods of alien hatchlings to match the Martian landscape. One can't help but wonder what exceptional conditions cause these unique formations here, but nowhere else. 
a forest that isn't, the petrified forest, the results of thousands of years of erosion, water slowly seeping and eating away at the limestone causes these structures. Now, once upon a time, there was a theory that this was an oceanside forest and the engulfing sand came in and uh, basically petrified them in place. But uh, the truth of the matter is, is that they're actually a limestone well of sorts. Essentially, a, uh, a little pan shape will form and water will gather in the limestone and gradually the water will wear away and uh, cause a trunk-like shape. Uh, most of the formations around here are about three meters high, although some up to 20 meters long can be found along this amazing coastal walk. Definitely a must do. Just when you think you've seen it all along the Great Ocean Road, just keep on driving out towards Portland and then Cape Bridgewater, and this is what you come across. Absolutely beautiful. I'm all for green energy and I'm not quite sure how to feel about these giant wind turbines that line the backdrop of this ancient location. Completed in 2008, the Cape Bridgewater wind farm abates an estimated 195,000 tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions annually. 29 wind turbines power 35,000 households each year with an average electricity generation of 200 gigawatts per year. Humanity's past, present and future is starkly illustrated here. Living Art Lifestyle, the love of your life.